Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same thing for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you can, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification button down there so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And thank you for the support, as always. And for my returning self, thank you for the support, love and light, and love and blessings. And many blessings are yet to come for you. Ah, uh, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Are you a highly sensitive person? Me, I'm a very highly sensitive person. These are the signs I'm going to tell you to let you know you are highly sensitive. Because a lot of people just don't know and they just wonder why. Why I'm so sensitive to things. Why I can't be around big groups of people. Oof, it's just a lot. And it's just, it could be a, a blessing and a curse at some times. Um, a highly sensitive person is like a, a person that has extra empathy. That they can go off the vibes of other people. That's for number one. If you know you can be around certain certain people that are positive, it gives you a lot of energy. It makes you happy. Anything that's positive makes you happy, which why wouldn't we want to? But we have those some people, some people out there that are just negative and they love to be like that. So you know misery loves company. But with highly sensitive people, if you're around people like that, it also drains you because highly sensitive people take on every energy every vibe every frequency that you are pushing out to the universe when you are around them and that's the curse part because it could be something bad people could be going through something very traumatic excuse me i said sometimes i'll make these videos and my nose start itching like crazy but um when you're highly sensitive like that we choose to not be around a lot of people that's sign number two a lot of uh, a lot of highly sensitive people, not all of them, but a lot of them are introverts. Me, I'm an introvert. I can't be around a large group of people. Even when I used to work out in, you know, the industry where you had to work around a lot of people, if we had like luncheons and stuff like that, I wouldn't stay there long. And I'm like, why don't you stay chill with us? Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. And then it never knew why. And I said, I'm just very sensitive to certain people. And, you know, some people don't understand that. So I, I really didn't get into that, situ you know, conversation and stuff like that. Because people would be looking at me like, uh, what's wrong with her? <laughs> but with highly sensitive people, that was another one. You stay, you stay away from a lot of folks. You, you tend to stay in the house or indoors or whatever in our comfort zone and sometimes it's not good to do that and with highly sensitive people it's hard for us to make a decision like don't let us be trying to figure out where we want to go eat out at or what if we want on the menu or make any decisions because we feel like especially if it's something very critical we we get very ag aggravated like oh my god am i making the right decision for this or you know if i do this what kind of consequences am i going to have that's another one that is a another one and with highly sensitive people we don't like violence <laughs> you know we don't like violence even if, you know if we're we don't like unjust things we don't it's like i was watching um I, well actually i wasn't watching i seen a video on a social media site this morning and it was so upsetting seeing this woman out in the cold and it was snowing like really bad she had these two children one she she threw the baby in the in the front of the shopping cart this baby had no shoes on and was barefooted and it, it looks like it's a blizzard outside i was just like then she's beating the other little boy coming out the vehicle and then slams him into the back of the cart and i'm looking at her like and you have a jacket on you don't bought these two kids outside and they have no kind of proper clothing on i said i'm so glad i didn't see that because <laughs> i would have been calling the cops while i'm sitting up here popping off at the mouth <laughs> and we would probably been both of us locked up <laughs> i just don't like unjust things like that anytime i see a child being abused especially if you have been going through that yourself as a child it brings back it triggers things it triggers a lot of things and with highly sensitive people sometimes we cope with things a lot harder than regular people do you know you, some people 
will just forget about it and go on about their business. But some sensitive people, it, it still lingers with them. And that becomes an issue. So, um, when it comes to all those weird things, it could be really crazy. So, I'm trying to figure out the other sensitive things. It's like, well, with us... It's just like between staying at home, feeding off of other people's energy. Hard for us, it's it, very indecisive. Don't like unjust things. I mean, there's a lot of things that can come up with being a sensitive person. You, Especially if you're able to read people. And sometimes that could be a good thing. And sometimes that could be a bad thing. Because you, especially when you don't want to know what people are thinking, it could be kind of bad. So, I hope that will be able to help some of the people out there. You, you know, if, if you're watching this video, you probably have questions or concerns or wondering about, you know, am I that highly sensitive person? You know, because I, I, sometimes I know with me being highly sensitive, if I'm around a lot of people, and especially if it's when a person is very depressed, it drains me. It drains me. It will make me so tired. <laughs> You know, just like, you know, some people, if they, you know, when they hear about stuff like that, being an empath or an indigo and stuff like that, they really think it's like, oh, exciting. And it can be. It really can be. But it's, it, like I said, it's a blessing and a curse. But I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I'm going to do a couple of sets of videos today and just break them all down into a couple and decide if I'm going to push them out today or it's going to be pushed out through later on the week, you know, because I got a lot of things I wanted to say. It was snowing. Finally in the South, I've been going to different people's, um, different people's channels and I'm seeing snow and I'm just like, you know, I haven't seen snow. I said, I've been living down in the South since, what, 2010 and I've probably seen, this is my third time actually seeing snow because where we stay at, it doesn't snow much. So, unless if it does, it always snows like in Atlanta before we'll catch it. And usually we don't catch it that much. But, I hope everybody's being safe. As always, I will keep you in my prayers. And I hope you do the same thing for me. Uh, you do the same thing for me. Um, if you can, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And even drop me down the line or two. I love positive feedback. And I will talk to you later. Oh, and today, um, I forgot to tell you guys. Please forgive me. Um, I am listening to relax and sleep music. Um, stress relief and meditation. So I will be putting that in the link down below. So in case if you like to meditate, this is a really good thing that you get to see the ocean waves. You don't hear them, but, um, it's very relaxing. Cause I, like I said, if you usually are you a uh, returning sub, you know, a lot of times I put a lot of relaxing music in the background because a lot of us were going through things and people know I try to put out a lot of positive vibes and love and light to everybody. So I like them to be able to relax when they're listening to my, my um, videos and they can hear the positive music going off in the background because that's a really good thing to hear. So I hope everybody's doing blessed today and I will see you on my next video and talk to you later. Bye-bye.